All right. Welcome to the Fabtastic Five for the week of April 16th of the great year 2023. Um, first name that I have for you guys, throw some fab at this man. I think he's still under rostered. That is Bryce Terang, second base shortstop for the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, to this point in the season, his stats may have changed. Um, if he played today, but coming into today, which is April 15th, he was betting 275 with a home run, two stolen bases, and four walks for the year. Not stellar, but I do expect those uh, stolen bases uh, to improve. And there should be a decent amount of pop in his bat to make him relevant. Um, second base, uh, notoriously kind of a weaker position, but... Um, this year it's actually not looking too bad, uh, although there have been some hits there at shortstop. So if you need a middle infielder or something like that, Bryce Turing, I think, is a guy to throw some fab at. Second guy on the list, another great outing today, um, Anthony Desclafani. That's a, it's a name hard to pronounce, at least for me. Um but after today's outing, he's pitched 19 innings, has 16 strikeouts um, to a 142 ERA and a .63 whip. Um, I will say that he just made the cut 70% rostered on Yahoo, 51% on ESPN. I will try and keep these guys below 70% rostered on um, those bigger leagues there um, in Yahoo and ESPN. Um, so he just makes the cut for me. Um Check him out. I know that some of the shallower leagues that uh, he's probably available. And to this point, he has looked good in his last full season with the uh, Giants. Uh, they seem to get him working there. I th believe it was like a th low three ZRA. Um, last year he was hurt, um, but I do believe in the Giants and what they do with their pitching there. So the name there, Anthony Desclafani, a name to pick up. Third guy I have for you, he's a catcher. He got called up last week, and he hasn't looked great, but that is Francisco Alvarez. Um, what is he, the number two prospect, number one prospect now, if people have graduated at this point. Um, in 11 at-bats, he's batting 091 for this season. Um, for his career, I think it's like a 130 mark, so it's not great, but he's the number two prospect. I think he's definitely worth a pickup 24% rostered on Yahoo 7% on ESPN. I think he's widely available. And if you're needing some sort of catcher help, he's worth a look. In my opinion, he could totally bust for you, but he could also work out great. Um, I would have a relatively short leash as far as um, this goes. I think there are some other catchers um, that are probably available as well um, that have, you know, a decent amount of upside. But I don't know that any of those catchers will have quite the upside that Francisco Alvarez has. Um, so, again, New York Mets catcher Francisco Alvarez got the call up last week, but I think he is worth a pickup there. Um these last two guys, both getting the call up. Um, Von Grissom, uh, Atlanta Braves. I believe he's only eligible right now at second base, but he should gain um, that shortstop eligibility. Again, shortstop has been rough to start this year. Ton of injuries. I think Tim Anderson, uh, Carlos Correa was hurt there for a second, just to name a, a, you know, two there. Um Corey Seager, another one who has uh, who's gotten hurt, who should is going to miss some time. But Von Grissom, sixty three percent rostered in Yahoo, thirty one percent in ESPN. Um, so he is relatively available um, in you know those on those platforms. Um, last year in twenty twenty two, through forty one games, he had five home runs, five stolen bases. Uh, 291 batting average, a 793 OPS, um, 34 strikeouts and 11 walks. Uh, the 34 strikeouts is a little bit worrisome, but honestly, not not really. Now that I say it out loud, it's not it's not that bad, really. It's not bad at all. Um, 
I think he'll kind of improve with more games. Uh, what I heard coming into the season is they thought his bat was ready, but they really wanted him to work on his glove. Orlando Arcia goes down with an injury, I believe, and now that spot is open. So he's coming back. That is Vaughn. Shortstop eligibility there. Um, I apologize if I cut out, but that was Vaughn Grissom of the Atlanta Braves. Last guy I have also getting the call. Uh, that is Zach Neto. He was the Los Angeles Angels 2022 first round pick, I believe. Um, somewhat interesting um, profile, kind of a power speed combo. I feel like everybody is nowadays, but only 1% roster on Yahoo, 0% on 